Hey, I've been brewing kombucha for about a year and a half now, and I thought I'd share my top secret, easy, and healthy kombucha recipe that I've come to over the last year and a half. And I've basically been making one gallon or six of these 16 ounce bottles uh, every four days. So I've been drinking quite a lot of kombucha with no negative health side effects. No, the acidity doesn't bother me. Um, I think the ingredients are healthy. So anyway, first fermentation, uh, basically just a the gallon of tea, uh, nine black tea bags per gallon, one cup of sugar, the starter scoby. Uh, I let a brew, I let them do the first fermentation for 20 days, which is longer than I've seen some people recommending online. Um, I do one gallon every four days, so I have five going at once for the 20 day cycle. Um, even in the winter, I have a heat pad under them because my house is a bit cooler. In the summer, the temperature is just about right. Um, so yeah, I just do the standard first fermentation, but maybe a little bit longer than some people. I guess I don't, I don't like it too sweet. But anyway, for the second fermentation, which I let go for eight days. So here's where the, the recipe comes in. So I use, um, pineapple juice. I get the six inch, six ounce cans of pineapple juice. So one can of that in each bottle right now, I have a bumper crop of blueberries from last year. So I'm putting seven or eight blueberries whole in each bottle and while I before I forget I just want to say a, a, a cocktail strainer is very nice for getting all the blueberries and uh, the powders and yeast and stuff so that's pineapple juice and blueberries that's basically the fruit and added sugar so no added sugar just pineapple juice and blueberries and then here I, get, I do a ginger powder, turmeric powder, a little bit of black pepper powder, and dried sumac flowers. So yeah, you might have a harder time finding the sumac flowers. I got them on eBay. They're regular. They're reasonably priced. Uh, yeah, I can't. I, I don't. I use. A, not sure exactly how much I use, but um, you can find it on eBay or online. It it gives it an interesting, like, bright taste. And, uh, yeah. So that's my secret kombucha. The black pepper might... You might think that's a little weird. You don't need that much. I, I kind of like the bite. Um, but it helps make the turmeric more uh, digestible or... Yeah. So there, there you have it. Happy brewing. Good luck. And uh, subscribe for future... Uh, house kitchen videos, crypto videos, all that good stuff. So thank you for tuning in. Have a good one.